Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to add and use appointments on GoDaddy website. Let's begin. Now, once you are logged into your GoDaddy account, you need to hover down to your dashboard. And basically, for those who are new in GoDaddy, appointments are a tool or a service that helps users schedule and manage appointments online. Now, these are commonly used by businesses, professionals, and service providers to allow clients or customers to book appointments conveniently through the website. Now, one of the key features of an appointments tool includes online scheduling, availability management, automatic reminders, calendar integration, and payment integration, and also some customization because to get detailed and accurate information in the appointments, we need to hover down to the left part of your dashboard as you can see the here is the appointments so you have the overview calendar services categories customer staff and settings now in this um section you have to click overview and then after doing so you can basically click on add service now here you can add your first service so your customers or clients can start booking with you okay now click on that okay so once you've clicked add service you are given the options in the upper right which is the appointment a one-time event and repeating event okay now let's start with the appointments first say for example you've chosen an online consultation or a one-on-one -on -one training depending on the service you are providing is it via for customers is it going to be for clients now when you click on appointments as you can see you can also add your service name right here you can edit the service name say for example how to add and use appointments on GoDaddy website you can have the option for the duration say that's like an hour or zero hours you know because this tutorial alone is around few minutes now the category is up to you as well because from here you can also choose the or um customize the category name now we can put it something like in this m category and click on save now by that you can also get an AI suggested service description. Now it's up to you. Now, if you try the uh, suggest description, what will happen would be you will be directed to a new window here. So you can choose uh, the tone. Is it professional, formal, witty, enthusiastic, reasonable, encouraging? But what I do is normally neutral. If you are um, haggling for time and if you are in time constraint, you might want to use and take advantage of uh, the AI assistant and you also have the option for the length is it like less than 24 words 50 words 75 words 100 words because from here you can learn how to efficiently schedule and manage appointments on your godaddy website now if you're happy with that all you're gonna do is click insert and you can also choose if you want it to be shown on your website or not but in this case, we want to show it on your website. Now, for the uh, price type, say, for example, it's free. Or is it, uh, you can customize the amount right here. Say, for example, um, price varies or as needed or to be discussed, to be confirmed. It depends on you. But for now, let's try uh, the free and the uh, service location is... Is it going to be online, virtual, or there's like a physical location? Now, if you try virtual right here, you can add or connect a Zoom meeting link. So when you click on this connect right here, you will be directed to a Zoom window wherein you need to create or sign in using one of your accounts here, SSO, Apple, Google, or Facebook. And then once you've created a Zoom meeting link, you would be able to put that in or you can enter your own it's up to you and you could also put some notes all right and be mindful of the characters that could be a limit on the description here 
Say, for example, you want to put some notes, especially to your staff members, your clients, to your customers. And then you also have the option for scheduling right here. Do you require customers to book in advance? And here are the duration, like, is it going to be within one to two days, like an hour or two hours? And you can also have the advanced feature of buffer time. So you can give yourself time after services. And you can also allow customers to reschedule online. If you don't want, just put a no. But if you allow it, just put it yes. And once you are happy with that, click on save. And also you have an option to save and add another. All right. So you can add multiple appointments right here now as you can see there's an option to add an image so that it looks professional and all they're gonna do if you have a customized um image that you wanted to add all they're gonna do is click on add here and you will be directed to this window all they're gonna you can drag and drop images or click on add image and what will happen is it'll be automatically added to your appointment see now you have say for example you've clicked that on by accident you have again the option to delete or download this on thumbnail you can also use stock media here on godaddy but be mindful that not all are free some are part of the uh, pro subscription so you might you need to be mindful and also you have the option to connect your facebook or instagram account these are the uh reasons why putting an, and using an appointments here in godaddy is very efficient now click on insert and again service name if you're happy um just click on save now if you are if you wanted a one-time event it's the same process as well right all i'm gonna do is just um edit some of the information and customize the details to your liking now here you can also put um participants like but the maximum is 300 okay it's the same process for repeating events now repeating events is also almost the same with um save and add another option at the very bottom okay now for the time being let's um save this one right here let's save it for now and we'll see what happens okay so here are the overview for our permits now you can go to you can set up your tax rates also here if you want to set it up click on that you can add section as well right here but these are more advanced um stuff and we have a separate video in the future about more information on the uh, settings or tax um section here for adding appointments now when you hover down to the business side or section of the settings right here as you can see you have the business info for uh, the uh, physical location and the availability right here these are the mark dates or the hours your business is available to accept appointments events are not affected by these hours okay and again you can also have the option to customize all of these from uh, 30 minutes to 15 minutes to an hour and click on save and also for the booking info that's what we did earlier and you also have the option if you wanted to require customers to provide phone number and during booking and collect information and also i'm um, this add a question is also helpful all right so you can put some um follow-up questions so that you can gather data from your customers and convert them into leads eventually and you also have the communications uh, section here at the upper part wherein you can send sms confirmations to your customers when they make bookings all right and email confirmations are sent by default and you can also it, it, it's up to you if you want to um click on these reminders right it's also have the uh, option for facebook booking so i'm using this a lot get bookings from facebook and instagram but when you click on connect obviously 
you need permission or we need permission to manage your page all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one